Hello and welcome to Movies, Money and More, a show about the business of entertainment. Now, before we go ahead, let's take a look at what's on the show. The Copyright Amendment Bill has been passed by the Lok Sabha. What is the full fraternity take on it? We follow the beat of the new trends in the music industry. And finally, we tell you all about the movies this week. Music composers, lyricists and singers in India have been celebrating and they have good reason to do so. After a three-year-long drama, the Copyright Amendment Bill has been passed by both Houses of Parliament and is now the law. But even as it brings a smile to many, the bill has created a divide within the film fraternity, with producers, music companies and the Film Federation of India expressing their displeasure. Mansi finds out the reason behind this. बड़े जमाने से ये तकलीफें थीं, लेकिन शायद हिंदुस्तान के कलाकार समझते थे कि बोलेंगे तो सुनने वाला कौन है? लेकिन अब वक्त बदल रहा है, लोग बदल रहे हैं, हालात बदल रहे हैं, उम्मीद करता हूँ कानून भी बदलेगा और हिंदुस्तान के कलाकारों की इस्मत भी बदलेगी। The fight to win rights to artists' creations gets a strong voice. और अगर बात हिंदुस्तान this drama unfolded last week with Javed Akhtar's speech in the Rajya Sabha on the 17th of May 2012. And finally, his efforts saw the light of day in Lok Sabha this week when the Copyright Amendment Bill was passed. The modifications to the Copyright Amendment Act state that the rights of artists' work will continue to remain with them, hence allowing them to receive royalty throughout their lives. While is that the producer paid you a sum of money and uh, you handed all your rights over to him, signed it all away on a contract which was just like a pretty much a one sided contract. It's not about trying to protect the composer or his rights anymore, it's about taking those rights away and then selling it on to the record company or the music label, you know, whatever. And uh, that was, you know, I mean, that's really one sided. So that's the way it's been all this while, you know, and there was no fight for what our rights were. But now all that gets completely voided. The law is of course music to the ears of composers, singers and lyricists, literally. But it seems to have wiped off a number of smiles. Initially, immediately music companies will be hurt. But ultimately it's a film industry which will be hurt. Because if I am not recovering money what I am giving to my producer, so I will rethink uh, ki how much money I will uh, put in music, how much money I will give to producer to buy his music. Well, it certainly seems that this bill, like all good things, has its hurdles too. So what exactly has changed and why has it created a rift in the film industry? You see, there was no procedure earlier, um, uh, a permanent procedure for uh, Bollywood at all. Uh, because they were, the producer used to be the owner of the film, including all the copyrights. Even the lyricist or the music composers or the directors had nothing to do with the film. He was virtually the owner of the film. But now, after this... Uh, amendments in the copyright act which the government of India has done, they have taken away the copyright in respect of uh, music as well as compo composer as well as the lyricist rights, it doesn't belong to the producers now. This is what the new law says. Uh, the copyright will continue to remain with the lyricist, with the uh, composer. Dusra Abhar Karna hai, HRD Ministry ke Standing Committee ke Adhyaksh aur Sadasyo ke Prati, jinho ne bahut mehnat karke, with the Copyright Amendment Bill becoming the law, Bollywood will now be following the footsteps of its Western counterparts. You get paid a fee which is basically your, your price for your music to be synchronized with the film. When it goes beyond the film into any other things and all, you get to start paying paid royalties on CDs, on ringtones and everything. And that's the way it is. That's the way it, and it is it really it is the fair way of doing it because you're working in a film industry, you're doing your music for the film. You know, you're not doing your music for ringtones or for mobile phone. Unlike Hollywood, where the model is widely accepted, in India it has turned out to be an ugly battle between the producers and the artists. The government has uh, has not uh, recognized our discussion or our presentations. They have uh, uh, gone a uh, little more lenient with the 
uh, other community. Initially, I think producers and all are a little shocked that what will happen to them. The point is that nothing will happen to them. The money is not going to come from the profit of their films. There's nothing that they have to pay out from that. The money will come from the, from the income that's generated by the music industry. It's a historic moment for creative talent in the Indian film industry. Producers and music composers considered it roadblock for various reasons, but what this act will bring to Bollywood is transparency in the revenue sharing model and ensure that artists get the rightful share of royalty. However, it will be some time before the film industry reaches a consensus and strikes a harmonious balance. It's time for a quick break, but stay tuned as we tell you all about the new music trends in the Indian music industry.